In this video, we'll be reviewing the features and benefits that are available as part of Operative One's AdOps preferences. These are also described in detail within the text portion of the Quick Start Guide. Let's get started. When traffickers and AdOps managers log into Operative One, they perform the majority of their work in the AdOps module. Within this module, traffickers will have the ability to move a ticket through a workflow, assign statuses, and push to your ad server. In addition, AdOps managers will have the insight into all trafficking activity and manage workload when needed. We recognize that managers may not want to allow their traffickers to have full permissions while performing certain tasks within the AdOps module. We have implemented several controls called AdOps preferences that can be set by users who have administrative access. Let's review these preferences. Overwrite start date. Before pushing a line item to your ad server, Operative One has the optional feature to allow traffickers to modify the start date of that line item. When the start date is overwritten in AdOps, it does not change the date that is present on the insertion order or management reporting. Instead, it allows the AdOps user to change the line item start date to a day in the future before pushing to your ad server. Since most ad servers prevent you from creating ads that begin in the past, this feature gives traffickers flexibility if creative frequently arrives late from your clients. You can also restrict what types of users can overwrite the start date and set how many days in the future that the date can be changed. Modify keywords. Traffickers will always have full insight into the line items sold within the sales module, including keywords associated with those line items. When the ad is pushed to your ad server, the keywords tied to the product sold will automatically be associated. Operative One has the ability to allow traffickers to modify those keywords directly in Operative One before pushing to your ad server. When this feature is enabled, the trafficker can click into the keyword field and enter a new value before pushing to your ad server. Modify quantity. Similar to modifying keywords before pushing to your ad server, Operative One also has the ability to allow traffickers to modify the quantity of a line item before pushing. This is useful if your traffickers frequently buffer an ad's delivery goals. When this feature is enabled, the trafficker can double click into the push quantity field and enter a new value before pushing into your ad server. If DFP isn't your ad server, you can stop the video and proceed to the text portion of the Quick Start Guide. If you are using DFP, we have a couple more items to talk through. Push as active. When line items are pushed from Operative One into a DFP ad, the ads are typically set up as inactive, also known as red lit. Operative One supports the ability to push an ad as active or green lit in DFP. For this feature to work, traffickers must load the creative into Operative One before pushing to DFP. When this feature is enabled, you will not be able to push an ad as red lit and must load creative into Operative One before each push. Reserve inventory. If you are not using Operative One's direct to DFP inventory method, this item can be disregarded. When you push an ad to DFP using the direct to DFP inventory method, Operative One can automatically reserve the inventory in DFP. When this feature is enabled, ads pushed to DFP will reserve inventory and be reflected in Operative One when other users try to calculate avails on other products sharing inventory with that reserved line item.